You know, to win this award, truly, it's an amazing thing. You know, I don't really have to say too much, usually, about what a Calypsonian of the Year has, has accomplished. And in fact, maybe it's not even really that well-named, because it's the Calypsonian of the Year, but the award kind of goes to your body of work, as Clark Kellogg would say, right? It's the body of work. So, without further ado, a person who needs no introduction, I don't have to talk about the contributions that he has made, please welcome back Drew Sakata. <laughs> and I can't even believe that I'm standing up here with all of you. Uh, it's an honor, thank you. Um, I am thrilled to have been able to spend this weekend and my birthday with 300 of my closest friends. Uh, so thank you for all of that. The happy birthday wishes mean as much as this does uh, in this moment. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> the, so you're recognized for your contribution and your, the portfolio of work that you do, right? And so I do, I do client service stuff, and that's great, and I love it, and thank you, Will, and all the people that I've worked with over the years for your tutelage, I appreciate it. Um, but all the other stuff is the pack, and the all hands call that comes with it, and the recruiting, and the storytelling, and the brand evangelizing. And I was thinking earlier this year about what I could cut out of my portfolio, because I just have a lot. and. When I was thinking about all those things, I realized that I'm like super selfish because those things give me the chance to drink the Calypso Kool-Aid like year round, right? I get to drink it at Karma 12 times and on the all hands call every two months and every time we do a campus recruiting event or a conference recruiting event, it's super selfish. Um, so thanks for giving me the chance to do that and I promise I'm gonna share it with everybody else. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for your attention.